he's been mentioned multiple times and his clone is going to be a cast member I think it's only a matter of time before Big Blue himself shows up on Titans. Question is, who could play him? <music> Greetings, universe. I am Brian. I am back for another new series on this channel called... Fancast Fridays. It's something I used to do a while on my while back on my original channel, but it didn't do so well. But that's a different audience, and I think you guys will like this. Especially because today's video is a bit topical with the fact that Titans is airing today. And I have yet to see the latest episode, but it might introduce a certain super clone and also yesterday it was announced that we are getting a third version of Superman on Crisis Tom Welling himself which <sighs> never thought he'd come back but that's a discussion for another day uh, today we're here to talk about Big Blue in Titans here we're just talk to talk about who could play him. I've got six people. Why six? Because I like even numbers, but I don't want to be here all day. Without further ado, let's get into this. Now, number one, the first one. These aren't in any order except for the last one. The last one is like my number one pick. But... Other than that, they're completely random. Number one is Max Greenfield. If For those of you who watch New Girl, yes, I'm talking about Schmidt. This guy, I've seen him in a couple different things. And especially in early Veronica Mars, where he played Leo, he definitely has down pat that good guy goof thing down pat which is kind of Clark and I think that could fit for a slightly different version of Clark because we've got a slightly different version of Bruce. He's more likable and charming so if they wanted to go for a more goofball type Clark I think Max could do a really good job and he definitely looks the part. Alright next up we have um, Josh Hartnell. I don't know if you guys know who this is or not, but in the 90s, he definitely was, well, I think early 2000s, he was definitely a movie heartthrob, but unlike the likes of, like, Ryan Gosling, he wasn't able to, like, steamroll that into being a big mega star that Ryan Gosling is. But he still managed to, to still act and still do things, including getting the lead in the Penny Dreadful TV show, the original one, because I know a new one's coming up. I think you take the nice guy kind of charm from his old school days and mix it with his bad A nature on Penny Dreadful you could have a pretty good Clark slash Superman. Alright, let's move on because I don't want to be here all day. Going to someone who is very familiar with TV, but also movies. Seems to be in everything nowadays, but never really gets the big, proper, juicy roles he deserves. Lee Pace! Yes, I am talking about Ronan. But for me, I know him more from when he was the pie maker on Pushing Daisy. And he was this nice guy who had this goofy charm to him. Notice the pattern here. But he also 
had this unusual ability, very powerful ability, but yet he never let that get to his head. I think combine that with the more buff power presence stuff that he brought as characters like Ronan. I think he could make a good Clark and get some recognition that he finally deserves. Next up we have Steve Zahn. This, these last three don't typically look like your typical Clark. Then again, Ian Glenn doesn't look like your typical Bruce. So anyway, Steve Zahn. He's been everywhere. He's been in tons of TV shows going back to Friends. He's been in a lot of movies. Mostly he's known for the comedic best friend um, and stuff like Daddy Daycare. But he also, granted it was the comedic sidekick, but he ha it has been known to do action and stuff like Sahara. And I think he He's got that, like, innate charm that you need for Clark. And if you guys ever watched the show Treme, he starred in that. And he's been trying to, to get back into the starring role on TV, but it's never really succeeded since Treme ended. But, yeah, I just think that he's got this natural charm and charisma where he's a good guy, but he's also idealistic and fun, and I think that is something that could make a very good Clark. All right, second to last. This one's gonna be weird, but I think if you're going different for Bruce, why not go different for Clark? And that is older fans of certain fran franchise will recognize this face. Austin St. John. Yes, Jason from Power Rangers. I know this is a wild card throw out there, and I know he's only recently been getting back into acting, but do you know what he's been doing outside of acting? Being a fighter fighter and a paramedic, he's been a Power Ranger in real life. And the man just is this, like, big broad presence but still this nice guy Captain America-esque leader dude who could I think play a pretty good Clark but not as good as my number one because the number one pick that I have for my number one fan casting for the Superman of Titans verse is believe it or not Misha Collins. Yes, Castiel from Supernatural. Now, what is Castiel but this being from not really our world who uses immense powers to fight to protect humans, even willing to sacrifice his own kind? Sound familiar? Add to that, you check interviews. Misha Collins is like one of the nicest guys, it seems. He will do a lot of things for fans. He has set up multiple charities. Like, I know all these celebrities do charity stuff, but him and Stephen Amell seem to be like the two biggest names in celebrities attached to charities. Also, he's willing to do things like make a crap ton of prizes for a scavenger hunt with fans. And the man just seems like he's got that, that nice guy, good to the core charm that you need for Clark. And then you see him as Castiel, and he gives off a good era for Superman. So I think combine the two, and you've got yourself a really good Clark. And definitely one that could be nice and 
want to do the right thing, but also be conflicted with the fact that he now has a clone of himself that he doesn't know how to feel about. Also, like England, he is a very fan favorite, like, cult show actor, so I think he could still fit that vibe. But anyway, I've been going on for long enough. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again in the universe. Till next time, and beyond.